Wind speed increased 50 miles an hour today and the barometric pressure dropped more than 30 points. Major hurricane now bypassing category three. So that's 111 to 129 miles an hour. It went from 105 to where we sit now, 130 miles an hour. The eye wall is clearly visible in all the satellites. This one has the icon over top of it. But here's the deal, the room to grow. Category 5, 165 mile per hour storms and count the days. So we got Friday, we, we'll count today. It's a major hurricane. So you get Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and then all of next week. I mean, we're talking about 10 days, 11 days with what could be a major hurricane over the open waters of the Atlantic. And then the neighbor here, well out into the deeper water here closer to the Cape Verde Islands. This is where we see the potential for now a category one storm from what is currently Tropical Storm Margo. Some of the models overdid the rainfall that we were going to see here for today. It did a nice job across southeast Georgia, at least indicating the spotty chance for the showers overnight tonight. The possibility even some pre dawn showers before more will continue to erupt into our finally Friday forecast. Meanwhile, it's a mild start here with temperatures upper 60s, lower 70s, even into the weekend and our daytime high is closer to our seasonal trend that puts us in the lower 90s. The chance for showers and storms will remain elevated though, and that is through the entirety 70% Friday 60 down to that 50 50 shot before some drier days. But the seasonal temperatures continue as we look ahead to the upcoming work week. That's your weather authority forecast. It's a click away at news for jacks. The tropics also part of our weather authority app with our hurricane tracker and your weekend forecast. It's always in view at news for jacks.